You may have noticed the scarves with Loyola School colors look strikingly similar to pop culture's most famous young wizard. That's Harry Potter on the left and real life Loyola fans on the right. Uh, scarfless Jeremy Ross is live from campus. And Jeremy, is there any connection between the Ramblers and Harry Potter? Well, good evening, Erica. Officially, the answer is no, but some people here may tell you otherwise. Now, the scarves have been sold out for days now. Over the past several years, they have been part of the identity for the fan base here on campus, an identity created by the need of a small school to stand out big. We usually describe it as, like, soccer rugby. Everybody ready? Adapted from the wizardry of the Harry Potter books and movies. The goal is really just to get the ball in the hoop. This Loyola Club Quidditch team rides on their simulated brooms. It gets pretty rough. Oh. <laughs> oh. People are talking about uh, Gryffindor and Quidditch relating to the basketball team. We're like, hey, like we talk about that all the time. Some of our opponents have used that. The threads tying the school to the movies are draped around Dr. Harry Rossi. The former president of the National Alumni Advisory Board says it is merely coincidence the maroon and gold Loyola scarves look like the cinematic ones. Shockingly, Harry Potter's were out first. Doesn't date back uh, centuries. Do you know how long it's been a thing? Dates back to 2014. Only five years. Wow. Rossi says after switching leagues and during its first Missouri Valley Conference basketball tournament, Loyola was looking for something to stand out. On a whim, a colleague decided on the scarves, bought 100 online, and handed them out to fans. This is one of the original scarves. Is it scarf warm? Is it warm? Not particularly, no. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Back on the pitch, those Loyola colors run with the players, all supporting the scarves, the school, and the history bundled within. And it gives us, you know, some uniqueness. Oh, we can tell you that these are the signs being passed around campus. You got David versus Goliath here. Believe right over here. What we cannot tell you is when those scarves will finally be back in stores. Live on campus, Jeremy Ross, CBS 2 News, Erica. Boy, scarves and Quidditch, you bring it to us all. Thank you, Jeremy.